in this video tutorial, what I'd like to do, I'd like to go over the process of converting your Rhino uh, NURB surface model into an STL file that is suitable for 3D printing. That's suitable for 3D printing. Now, I want you to note that your Rhino model is composed of uh, curves and surfaces. It's a NURB surface model. Your 3D printed model, your STL file format model, is a model that is a triangulated polygonal mesh. It's a triangulated polygonal mesh. And some of the things that you should note about the model is that uh, we use a surface tolerance uh, to define the density of that mesh and as it's converting it into STL you'll notice that in areas where there's high curvature curvature in our model that we have a more density that polygonal mesh is a lot more dense than it is in areas of the model where there aren't areas of high curvature high curvature we and we control that with a parameter that we pass in the conversion for the distance between the original nerve surface and the and the resultant um, STL model but you should note that it's kind of a, a selective and, and, and it makes decisions that in those areas of high curvature it adds more density more polygonal density than in those areas that are uh, basically flat and that accounts and will create the smoothness in your final 3d print now let's go over the process that we use to to do this and it's pretty straightforward I'm gonna hide this for right now and I'm going to I'm going to bring my uh, polygonal model, my NURBS model, uh, here like so. One of the first things that we want to do, as we always do when we produce our models in Rhino, we want to do an edge analysis. We want to do an edge analysis, and that'll make sure that there are no uh, naked edges, which can cause problems in your resultant 3D printed uh, 3D printed model. So we come over here to analyze edge tools show edges okay and if we turn on all edges here as we've gone over before it shows all the edges in the model okay and it's represented by pink what you want to do is that you want to check on this tab right here that shows only the naked edges in the model only the naked edges and you notice that when we check on that there there's no pink in our model which means that all our all of our edges that our model is closed that we have what we call an inherent solid which is which is what we want we can also check for non-manifold edges there are no um, non-manifold edges in our in our model so this is a nice clean model we can look up here at a command line there's 159 edges total and there's no naked edges no non-manifold edges so this is a good model now the process co for converting it uh, to STL format is pretty straightforward. We want to select our model and we want to do an, a file, export selected, and we want to choose the STL file format from our menu items, the STL file format. Okay, And we give the file a name, I'm going to call this LED02. And as you note, it's an STL file, and that's what we care about. We care about file formats, and we want to save that. And that brings up our STL mesh export options, and this is the important part, the tolerance. Okay, We want to set the maximum distance between the original surface of solid and the polygonal mesh created from the STL file to 1,000, 0 0.001. And that'll provide a good density that'll maintain the curvature of our original model and if you like you can hit the preview tab so that you can see what that will look like okay so you can get a look at what that will look like and I'm gonna click on OK and you want to save it in binary format okay you want to use the binary format and the size of our approximate size of our finished model is going to be 5.6 megabytes so we'll click OK and it outputs the STL file. Now we can bring it in to look at it and we can do an import in this case 
and we're going to import LEDO2. We're going to leave everything in its default. We want to confirm that the STL model is in inches. If that's the units that we use to build our original in, if it's millimeters, you want to make sure that that's millimeters, but almost all of our modeling is done in inches. We'll click on OK, and there goes the model right there. And we can look at the two side by side. Um, and what you'll turn into, uh, what you'll turn into and post to the uh, Digifab uh, site will be this STL file. This is the file that you bring in, and that's the file that will be used for your 3D printing. And that's a pretty good and brings to a conclusion our overview and process for converting our Rhino surface model into an STL model that's appropriate for 3D printing. It's that straightforward. Good luck.